Hi, this is Wayne Miller with NCPP, Northern California Professional Photographers. And this is a screencast on how to prepare your projected images for competition using Photoshop. Basically, it's a fairly simple process, uh, but I'll kind of go through it step by step. Basically, what we want to do is get a canvas uh, this size, which is the exact size that fits on the monitor. So we go over to File and we drop down to New, the first one at the top. You'll get this screen uh, menu that will pop up. Now this is uh, our <coughs> last uh, default that we use, so it always goes to the last one. So anyway, uh, you want to set it for your width at 4000 pixels. You want to set your height at 2200 pixels, resolution at 200, color mode BRGB color, 8-bit, uh, background content that would be your color, uh, depending on how you have your default. The default is generally uh, over here on the left side, uh, so we want black. Uh, and you can change that uh, later. We'll show you how to do that. Color profile, uh, I would stick with uh, Adobe uh, RGB 1998 or you can pick uh, sRGB. And we click OK. So <coughs> we get this to pop up. And uh, I'll show you over here that the, the background is right here. <coughs> now we can change that. Uh, by clicking and making a new layer, going over here to our color picker, picking a different color if we want. Okay, right now we're not going to do that. So now we want to bring our image into the canvas. We'll call this a canvas. So you can go File, Open, or if you've already opened the image, I have it right here. I'll drag it down. Now this is CS5, so if you have an earlier copy, it's going to work a little bit different. Uh, you grab the image uh, from the Layers palette. Hold your Shift key. That'll center it when you bring it over. And drop it. Uh, you'll get the warning sign that uh, this is a different color space. Uh, click OK. Click OK. Uh, now that we've got it over, we can just close the original and you see that <coughs> the layer is on top of the background and the other one if we want to change it. Okay, so <coughs> now we want to resize this. Uh, two ways to do it. Uh, you can go to edit or you can go to image, image size. You can change it uh, here or you can go Control T, which is my preference on there. Uh, I would go up and lock the uh, constraints on it. That way it stays square. Uh, or you can just uh, hold the shift key and drag the drag it down. So let's see, we'll drag it around here. You can play with this a little bit and saying okay. Uh, let's say we want to bring it in about right there. It's all according to your taste, you know. Hit enter. Uh, let's go to the slim view so we can see it. Okay, so it's, it's still a little bit bigger. So we go control T. Uh, want to bring this down a little bit so it fits in. Uh, you can crop an image or do however you want. So let's let's bring it in about about right there. We know that this is going to fit on the screen. We'll hit enter. If we want to make sure we center it, we look back over here. We highlight these two. We go to the move tool or hit the V key. If you look on the top here, you can center. Align horizontal. You see it shift a little bit, and over here it says align vertical. So now it's centered. Now the other thing we may want to do 
is put a little stoke around it so we can go back to here double click on it we can stoke it click on the stoke pick the color that you want you can pick a color off of the image say we want to go with this kind of silver or the blue of the blue cast off of the uh, sunset size according to taste again I'd go anywhere from three to five uh, inside blend mode normal opacity be 100 and that shows you the color and you go okay so basically that's it we'll go back to slim mode again so we can see it you can offset it if you want to move it you're done file save as and then you want to save it as a JPEG you want to use your name Wayne underscore okay Wayne underscore Miller underscore uh, air plane underscore at sunset what an original name you can see the profile down here a Joe B RGB 1998 you're saving it your format as a JPEG make sure you check that one you've got several different formats on here save and it'll ask you what size this will tell you what size it is over here so if you go to full 12 it's going to be 3.4 megabytes uh, <clears throat> that's a pretty big file uh, maximum is three and a half megabytes but when you project it you really can't tell the difference uh, this will email faster. It looked the same on the screen. So I would go quality at 10, click OK. It's saved. Okay, now uh, let's go back to the canvas. We'll bring up a fresh one here and we'll go with a uh, well, portrait. So we'll pull this portrait down same thing as click from the portrait shift key that'll center it you get your color warnings that's yeah, okay we want it to stay this color so we can close the old one we'll go control T you can shift this around now you're gonna lose real estate on here because of the portrait versus the landscape so uh, they don't turn the monitor so you're kind of stuck with uh, the image you know, I probably want to bring it in maybe about right there hit enter locate it wherever you want on the screen uh, something like this may look uh, better right over about right there okay uh, either click on the little FX down there or double click on the layer that will bring up your layer styles hit the stoke uh, hit the color uh, this time I want to probably make it the color of the tuba okay two to five three to five depending on your taste eh, that might be a little bit too heavy so let's go with three click OK you're happy with that again you can Put it wherever you want on the screen. Uh, you can have a dead center if you want. If you want to go dead center, you click on that. Uh, click on the background layer. Hit the align horizontal center. And then hit the other one. Okay, so let's say we want to change the color of the background layer. So we double click on that. We change it to just a uh, change it from a background layer. Okay, we click on our color picker. Uh, 
and let's say we want to use uh, let's just use the color of the Let's use the color of the. Now we can't use the color of the two, but we got that on the stoke. So let's say we want that color. All right. So in order to do that, you have edit, fill, fill with the foreground color because that's a foreground color. Click OK. There it is. Not happy with that color, but you may be. File, save as drop down here we're gonna save it as a JPEG and again we're gonna give it a name Wayne if I can spell my own name underscore Miller underscore uh, girl with tuba and you can see the profile right there. Save it. Yeah, we can save it as a 10 size of the file. Click OK. And we're done. OK, and that's pretty much it. All right. That's, uh, that's it. We're signing off.